Time will tell, but again, if they want to avoid that reverse sweep necessity, they have to get a victory here. Let's see how they fare now, starting things off on that defense. Kilo, of course, going to be on the Widowmaker. Yeah. Looking to hunt down Ons. We didn't get to see the B and C off inside of Glad's last time because, well, again, the full hold was there, but Glad's attack first now. Ons versus Kilo. Very important matchup. Oh. And Kilo strikes first blood. This has been a bit of an issue for Ons over the course of the tournament. He needs to get the better of Kilo because last time in the upper bracket on Circuit Rail when they met, Kilo had his number almost every time. That he did. It's not the performances that we have, you know, very much come to anticipate from Ons, who's you know, put on clinics and looked like the best hit scan player in the world at times. Needs to get back into that form right here. Regain the name, the Ansan Sniper, where he debuted many, many moons ago in 2018 yeah. contenders. It's a young talent coming through that's just been so phenomenal. MN3, Kilo, just to name a couple. I mean, Shy only debuted last year as well. Yeah. Sleep onto Mikey as Ansan there we go. finally get one back. Okay, opportunity, Gladiators, they can use this five versus four. They need to start. Taking some map control, they are both high ground and the payload push into where they want to, and now they are able to convert further. Look at that! Oh dear, yep, it's uh, falling apart here for the side of the shock so far on this point A. Gladiator just pushed through, Ons just right up against the backside there of Mikey, does not care, knows that he is perfectly safe as we'll take a look back at the opening pick. That led to this spiral out of control, oh, and that was a nice sick. one. Slim margins to work with, but spots the feet, gets the head. And now the point broken open in cap 445 in the time bank for the Gladiators to work through as they enter into the hangar. And paid attention to the ults as well. Mikey only just got the primal, so Shock couldn't quite get those ultimates online. Arns continues to get picks here. This is great from the Gladiators. They're able to snowball effectively off a single snipe of the Kilo. They get the point eight capture. They have or about to get shuttle control as well. Shock could not defend with the lack of ultimates. It's a simple five versus four advantage that Gladiators are able to convert into further kills and their map control looking great right now. Kilo can't even respond to the Infrasight. We cannot. Kept just shoving forward, spotting him. Just chipping away at his little toes there. Throwing out those shurikens, fine spin. Kilo will be able to answer one back as Reiner gets dropped. No nano to be found there. Now it's gonna be used on the support, Scoot, actually to keep him alive as they turn the sights over to Mikey. Anteed up, or rather, discorded up, makes his exit. The cleanup's there on a proper. The cart continues to roll forward. Gladiator's making a fantastic pace right now through towards point B. If they can get this cap, the time bank is once more going to be bumped up and be massive. Violet anteed up for the trans. moment. He does have that transcendence online, but Capster gets on top of Kilo. Takes him down. Now Finn out in the middle of nowhere. Nate does go through. Does anti out of Kepster, but he is still more than safe. Just duking it out back and forth here against Proper, who does get topped up by the Transcendence. They sustain him for a little bit longer, but now as that expires, Reiner pops the Primal, gets on top of Violet, finds the elimination, looks for a little bit more. Juggles Finn away from the respawn room, and with this stop, looks for the final cap. blow. Pops the bubble, the cap is there. In the meantime, Kilo able to find Kevster, but cool, I guess, at the end of it all. Nice snipe from Reiner. They go ahead and take down the Widowmaker, and it's four and a half minutes plus for the Gladiators in the final stretch. Yeah, masterful stuff. That is flawless map control coming through for the Gladiators. Again, snowballing off a single pick from Arns all the way back on A, pushing through the tunnel, gets that kill onto Kilo, and we are snowballing ultimates, positioning, map control, everything. Three ultimates, by the way, spent by the Shock. You had, what is it, Infrasight, Primal, and Nano uh, eventuate to nothing there. They also could not force the Kefsa Blade out, so Kefsa still gets to hold on to that with the Nano about to come online for both teams. The Nano Blades could decide the next fight. It be everything but the shock. They need to find something. They need to get a win. Gain card control for the very first time here in this map. Ons once more looking for a pick. The next in for sight nearly there as he is just lapping. Finn's Kilo dead! In this regard, Blades come through. Proper going to be able to find Skewed. Finn taken down, but that is the support duo gone to the side of the Gladiators. So the shock should be able to play off the back of this and finally establish some form of card control, especially with Ons dying on the back end. A good chase there from Mikey, and they will at long last be able to hold this. Let's double supports down for the side of the Gladiators. So Shock get one extra fin. Indeed does die. No Nano popped onto proper, but Shu also dies without getting the Nano onto Kevster. So neither of our blades ends up being Nano up for the extra. And the LA Gladiators not able to get too much distance okay. off that. Another five versus four. Surely this one is again very usable by the Glads. No response by Shock. Kilo's too far away from the Infrasight. 
Well, I think the Widowmakers are one and one against each other. That is going to be Ons very much taking a lead over top of Proper, shutting him down once more. Let's swap over to the Tracer now as the dive goes through. Reiner with the Nano gets on top of Finn, finds that elimination, looks for a little bit more. We'll just go ahead and knock a couple people back into the respawn room. Cart getting closer and closer here as they once more look for the contest. Violet dropping low. Doesn't pop the trance yet, however, holds on to that with the pickoff on the shoe. And now Ons dying. Seems like the Shock should once more be able to hold this cart for a little bit longer. The Skewed would have loved to trance, but not available there. So Reiner takes a bunch of damage, has to come back on. And Shock, they able to actually match the ult, which now a fantastic A and B push has been stalled out significantly. Shock have equaled, in fact, greater okay. ultimates. Then the LA Gladiators and finally Kilo will get the first blood instead. Hans has had a couple of those in the past. You see this very tricky Venom Mind spot as well. Ends up being a head glitch. Kilo can see through it, can fire through it. Arns, if he shoots Kilo, is going to hit the mine instead. And we actually got a look of that, I believe, in the Shock vs. Dragons Royale. game where, uh, yeah, on Circle Royale, Lip actually shot the Venom Mine and did not hit Kilo for that exact same play. It's cheesy, but you take advantage of everything you possibly can in this type of series. This now, and it will be destroyed by Kevser, who moves forward, pressing Kilo out of that position. The nice sidelines, but oh man. Great shot there. Hits Reiner, but Ons gets Violet once more. Coming up with a massive kill to open the fight for the side of the Gladiators. Who now can start moving the cart forward, and this is just such a wash here. The cleanup coming in. Violet in desperation. Violet Bobby transcends, making his way out of the spawn room just to keep this cart contested. 0.66 meters left to go, but he will die, and no one else can get the touch in time. You can see the desperate Reaper coming through. There's some ults in celebration. Popped. The Gladiators finished with a minute and 31 in the time bank. Yeah, that's a decent finish coming on through. And again, as a reminder, we did have a full hold Double on A hold. versus Atlanta. Look, if Shock lose this map, you have to significantly question why Circuit Royale was not the map choice here. Again, oh yeah, a situation where proper Sojin was more than did lifting. I believe he had one third final blows versus the LA Gladiators on that map. You're also forcing Glads to rotate space in, a player that hasn't had the greatest amount of scrim time with the team. Glads would prefer to not be subbing space and to keep Reiner in, because again, he is their starting tank player here. Arns is also heated up, so the one area that Shock should have an advantage in this Kilo versus Arns sniper duel has so far heavily gone the way of Arns. Now Kilo is attacking. Can he get the good sight lines on the attacking side? Can he get those initial first bloods that he did actually get on Gibraltar A that then went missing? Let's take a look at Arns again in terms of how he set all of this up. Boom. Oh. You also notice the headshot coming through from Kilo onto Reiner as well. But of course, Reiner is a Winston player. Violet gets killed. And this is just a further snowball where Mikey, after being slept, can't do she anything so about good. it. Shock did not respond with anything. They had no frags. Violet would love to trance, but he was the first one down. Another fantastic sleep. Stopping all attempts from the side of the Shock to get an advantage. And look for it. That's <laughs> a nice deflect back. Shoe and Violet slept. Oh no, one for one actually is what it is here. Yeah. They did both get slept. A little minor exchange. This Kilo routing. I think he might have just seen Ons' head there for a brief little moment. Spotting him is the first step, nailing the shot. That's the second one and the most important step. See what happens now as you were teeing it up with these aggressive sightlines. Can he find some success to break open this push? Mon's already positioning quite far back, just over top of the point itself as Ryan takes a nap. Will just be naturally woken up. Payload on the move as well. Every single time that Arns goes for a top side peak, it ends up being shot going for a bottom side oh, peak skewed. via Kilo's sort of Overwatch uh, positioning here. I'm not talking about just the game here, but obviously the uh, strategy. Reiner down though, this is going to be map control taken by Shock. Yeah, dead in the stairwell. Couldn't make his way back over to his supports nor the health pack. They're trying to stay safe now. Kevster trying to get aggressive. Dives in the Might back, but cannot out. find a damn thing. Ends up getting taken out. Chew dead. All right, looks like Shock here to play. Their own push here on a point eight, looking just as successful as the Gladiator. So a massive time bank with 5.15 yeah. now. Locked but, in. Glad's in the same position, was able to snowball on B as well. They had the opening frags. I believe Arns got further kills that allowed Glad's to take shuttle control. So can Shock also do that? It's not just good enough to get A cleanly. You have to snowball on to B. They have first nano available. Both infra sites are going to be even here as well. Violet slightly further ahead than Skewed. Shu is catching up. I mean, everyone knows how infamous this point is for trying to 
attack through once the doors have shut. Reiner again getting oh, pulled lower and lower. The Discord door battle to him, and he manages to make his way over to the Mega Pack, but he still needs to get some Bloody block. Bubble coming down to try to deny it. He goes down to the sliver of HP, cuts around the corner, and now Mikey says, okay, lots of people inside of the dropship. I'm popping the primal. Looks to cleave them down, but still takes a significant amount of damage. Makes his exit for a brief little moment. Kilo in the meantime, going to be Goomba stopped by Reiner. Mikey gets eliminated. Might have been asleep into the headshot there from Ons. Either way, they break down the Winston, and now the rest of the wow. kills follow. So knife staggers to be found as Violet tries to make his exit. Drops down, grabs the health pack. The zap not going to connect, so he will live the fight another day. But it's going to be the Gladiator stopping up the shock, denying the snowball. Yeah. Nano traded for Primal there as well. Mikey going for the big place. He nearly had Reiner. Reiner jumps through Mikey's body as well. So nearly had that body block that would have confirmed Reiner's death, or at least at minimum, maybe forced out the Primal Rage. I can't remember if he had it or not. Kilo swapping over towards the Tracer. Arns getting that kill once again. They lose all sniper pressure. Arns can now freely snipe, assuming no one jumps on top of him. And free in for sight here as well. Spying out everybody there. Minor contest from Proper. We'll be able to build up towards that bullet a little bit faster. Nano in the meantime invested over to Mikey and he's gonna be slept once more. Pushed back away as they hold up the right click charge. But a hell of a lot of damage down on him as well as the anti, but so far he has not died. Rhino now coming for the reinforcements as Ans again gets Proper in the head. I swear, Ons, he's been a sleeper agent. That's why he hasn't been performing. And I spoke the magic words. I initiated the code. Yeah. Ons on Sniper, and now he is awoken. Absolutely. And this is the Ons that we've been waiting for. Very much asleep in the previous few matches. But in the finals now, in the most important game on his map as well, a very important escort, right? He needs to be the player to take control, and he certainly he's is. The ball fighter boys making a 13. Ons is back online, and Shock have no answer. Well, for the Shock fans, I'm so sorry to have awoken him, but it's great to see all the same for just Widow and Hans appreciators across the board. Kilo's Hans back. Here to play, knows that the pressure is mounting in this grand final series, and he is hungry for the win. This man who led the Shock to a championship victory in 2020, now on the other team. Came back in 2021, an unfortunate season for the San Francisco Shock, but Proper does get Kipster down. Five hits to four. Finally, can the Shock make this advantage work? Arn's desperate for a trade on the back end. Violet force the trance. Proper looking to contest him. Drops down, grabs the health pack. Orb of Harmony out onto Arn's to go ahead and keep him alive. He grapples to the opposite side. He's looking at the point blank shot. The deflect coming through. That's just not enough damage. With Mikey's arrival, they will finally be able to take him down. Kilo, he finds the taste of the Genji as well. Headshot there on the Kevster. To go ahead and try to break this open a little bit more. Halfway there, just about a little bit over that as the cart push now continues a team kill. Yep. Can there be a final contest with Reiner not respawn? I guess the answer is probably late, no. Too late. could try to go for it, but no, it's not going to arrive in time. The cap will be there, 315 Shoes now for the trouble. shock of the final stretch. Yeah, there's a bunch of, look at the shock supports on the there's left hand side. They might have to reset here. They could be in a lot of trouble. Kilo gets they skewed down. Are. Okay, yes, uh, Shock's gonna get this cleaned up. Yeah, this is a big reset for Gladys. They lose three members Ooh. for absolutely nothing. And Kilo got a couple of important frags in there. Kilo looking for his pound of flesh in this grand finals. Ansan Sniper has been activated on B. An ex-Shock member who led them to a victory. Now on the other end looking to put Glads online for a back-to-back -back championship. Infrasight for Infrasight. 131 is the target. Glads, that's their time back. Shock. 2.30 to play through. They need a cap in the next minute to be able to match. It feels like this is roughly the first time that they've been able to have these couple together. Kilo shut down immediately. Kevster pulling the blade into the back line. He's trying to deal with Violet, but they keep him alive, and Violet shuts him down. Good returning kill. Reiner as well just melted there. Nowhere to go. It's locked down as the Nano goes forward. Kevster making swap. sure they can confirm the kill. Cart now gliding forward. The time looking decent here for the side of the shock to be able to, t to go ahead and tie things up. Mikey as well with a primal pop. Gets on top of Ons, shuts him down. Reiner rejoining just to get the zap away at Violet, trying to take him out. As the cart gets Still got a blade, here it is. Finally, touch starting to come in. Proper draws the blade. He's looking for Shu. He's not going to be able to find him. Forces him back into the respawn room. However, the cart once more going to be advancing forward. And someone's going to go for the touch. Reiner there. Primal popped. He's trying to stay alive. 2.6 meters left to go. Skew going to be taken down, but Violet traded out. So no Zenyatta's in the fight now, but Ons. Returning on the Cassidy, instantly dealt with by Mikey. Reiner in desperation, just sitting in the bubble. Watch the time. Looking behind the cart, trying to deny as many sightlines as he possibly can. And Shu is here to back him up. To, does hold on to that nano boost, should they need a bit of a bailout. Shu now going to be retaking the occupation duties of the cart. Making sure there's no back cap to be found. In fact, there's going to be some rollback here. So a little bit more breathing room now for the Gladiators. 
Nano onto Primal. Rhino rather, no Primal just yet, but he's going in deep regardless. Kev still onto Kilo, Shock after real back. They've Nano vied in response, so Nano for Nano trade, but Shock are guaranteed to lose this fight. They need to disengage. They need to get out of here. They need to reset right here, right now. A minute about to be back in the time bank. As Finn is not going to be able to stay alive. One last push here for the side of the Shock. Looking like an OT finish. If they can get it done. Had it so good. They absolutely had it need so to. good. And about a minute ago, it was looking like a very good push. They just had to get the Gladiator's ultimates out. A lot of just uh, stalling ultimates available back in that last fight. We had Transcendence, we had Primal, speaking of which is now going to be online for the side of the LA Gladius through Reiner. So that, at minimum, is going to cost more time for Shock. We're no longer talking about getting a good time back. We're talking about capping in the OT. Kevs are dipping back. Stepping away from the Tracer battle for just a moment. Gets that Orb of Harmony, Kilo. In for sight, pop goes up nearly. Top looks for Ons, but he manages to juggle back around the corner. Kevster, however, taking down Violet, able to start things off. The right foot forward and proper fine skew. Two picks now here. Still got a final attack. Violet gets another one, putting the team on his back. Primal going to be popped. Reiner, looking to delay this, drops back down, contests the cart for a moment, retreats down into the spawn room, gets back out. 1.88 meters left as Kevster finds an opening kill. Finn gonna be eliminated, but now Kilo gets Reiner. The Transcendence is there from Violet. Shu tries to go in for the touch. Will get picked off one after the other. The Gladiator's members bleeding down. The finish comes through in overtime for the Shock, but they still have their work cut out for them. A minute added as we get ready to go into extra innings to two and a half for the Gladiators. Yeah, good picks coming through from Shock in that last fight before Reiner had to pop the Primal, and unfortunately for the LA Gladiators, their ability to stall really starts and ends with that primal. If Reiner is burnt down and Gladiators can't respawn and reinforce while the primal is up and get some frags as well, they're not going to be able to hold on towards C. And like I mentioned, no longer looking for a time bank for Shark. We're looking for an OT cap. They get that. Get the bonus minute coming on through, as does the Gladiators for Shark's minute. So it's 231 now versus just the one. Both teams have not had successful A-point defenses. We've had significant pushes and snowballs from A off the back of individual picks. It was Arns on Kilo for the Gladiator's attack, and it was Reiner dying, I believe, from the San Francisco Shock, killing him, that allowed the Shock to also snowball through A. I don't know if B is going to be relevant in this time bank. A is going to be the most important thing here. Oh, absolutely. If B does become relevant, then it's going to be uh, a, a wonderful boon to whichever team can make it that far. You can see Violet just God, those shots. getting the dink, setting up a proper to get in there, find the follow-up kill, and, and Violet playing angry. Might not have got a nan it up this time, as he's been the target of those nano boosts, what, I think, three times in this map so far. Yeah. Uh, this time he does it without it. Wonder wonderful kills, very necessary. Uh, they found those. Let's see if he can do it again so now as they start off on the attack. Blast from the pass, Achilles, you know. Old yeah. Violet coming on through on that Zenyatta like we saw on previous seasons, 2020 season, 2019 as well. Arns, first blood uh -oh. on the Kilo. Here we go. This is where the Glides start to feel a little bit more comfortable. Again, no time for the Shock. Can't really afford to die much more than that. 30 seconds remaining. Every meter counts. Yep. All right. The Shock will at least breathe easy that the underpass is not being contested, so Proper can go ahead and escort this card forward, try to get it up to the top of the ramp here. A little bit of free distance given. Now the drop down comes through Gladiators, not allowing it to go any further for free. Ons going on the aggressive angle, jumps up over the top. Mikey's hit a body block, however. It denies the sight lines. Ons wants more. OT looking down main. Reflect used. Shoving him back. Kilo needing to find a kill. Over time, now rolling through the cart once more, steadily being inched forward. Reiner playing up. Keeps this one locked. Shoot, nearly up. Nearly nano. Back in for the touch. Somebody's got a touch! Oh my goodness. Slim margins, Mikey. Almost gives his life for it, but now Ons gets an opening shot on the Finn, taking Liana's head off. Nano's here. Let's put a little bit more. The Nano goes out. Kevster going to be boosted up. Doesn't have a play, but it might not matter. Dashes through. Finds Violet. No supports here for the side of the Shock. Mikey with a sliver of HP. 9% shy of the Primal that he will not be able to build up, and that is as far as it goes. The Gladiators have a very real, very achievable win condition as they look to move up 3-0. And that, I'm afraid... I don't know if that's enough for the Shock in terms of distance gained. 63.67. Unfortunately, no cap. What ends up happening there is Arns the first blood onto Kilo, and that can honestly decide it all. First blood's coming through from the Watermakers. Shock having to reset 
4v5 there, losing time, giving Glad space to work through Shu, the first Nano as well. Very important timings there for the Ultimates because we did not have any other Ultimates online. It was just going to come down to who gets first Nano. And now Shock, by the way, Keela on towards Ash. They have to play far more aggressively because that end point for the payload is the default end point for when you normally just kind of push the payload up the hill, reset your team, go for the high ground play, and then once you take high ground and transition to server, you can start pushing payload again. So this is, in terms of distance, it oh. needed to be a lot more. And that was a pixel from Arns as well on Tequila. That is the Arns that we know and remember. Just absolutely gorgeous shooting from Arns this whole map throughout. Gladiators needed him to step up the most. He has absolutely been delivering. Shock now very far forward here on this defense. TP doesn't get the high ground. So what I believe Hans uh, wanted. So it gives a little bit of a wry smile. Supporting the team over to the clock so itself, which they will get moving. This is going to be a major range advantage. Kilo cannot match the range, by the way. Double Byronade coming on through. That's going to force Shock back. Part of the reason why he might be playing for this Ash is the Bob defense as well. When he can get that, you can brawl up effectively at medium range with this Ash, and they want to be playing server room. They have to hold the payload here, so server room is of utmost importance. Dynamite does get a little clip there on the Kebzer for just a moment. The cart already most of the way there because the Shark, they cannot contest forward in that underpass. Just be a death sentence having everybody grouped up like that. On searching for a head. Good anti comes out, clips onto three. Grapples That's important. away, stays safe. No kills to be found off the back of that, but it does slow them up for a moment as they have to try to top up Ons and Reiner, who Ons down to a sliver and proper. Does manage to find that opening kill, but he gives his life for it. Skewed, taken out. Kilo with a nice headshot, will find Shu. As Reiner looks to contest over towards server room. Gets dinked, however, and should be able to get cleaned up, but no, okay. has the leap back off cooldown, makes his exit. Look at the Annas again. This is the key point here. Finn above Shu. Shu actually died in the previous fight. Finn did not die. He also had a three-man bar, so he is leading an alt charge for the shock. They need everything going their way. Finn actually needs to try and not blow this nano too early. You need to have the, sh the gladiators in a position the where they want to engage, and you counter with oh. your own nano. By time, a minute left. 1.3 meters left to go. They have to stay glued to this proper. A nice opening kill. Does find Shu. Mikey Nano managing to stay alive for a little bit longer. Mikey needs Primal. Away with a break. Does find Kevster. Proper, proper going to be taken down by Skewed once more. It seems like the fight should widely be won and the Gladiators need okay. to reset. 45 seconds remaining, but no! They're going to pull the trigger on this! They want to try to fight this one out. The Transcendence goes through. Right. going to be anti for the moment. There's not enough damage to take him down through that. He makes his exit. Pulls back. The Primal nearly up. Mikey has popped his own. Look at the ults! Finn had already used his nano. He was forced to use nano onto Mikey a little bit early on. This is what I'm saying. You need to be able to save these ultimates if you can longer because it has to be a final fight victory here for the Shock. Glad's now multiple ults coming on. Nano blade available. Primal as well. And they're going to open up with Arns. On the proper. Dead. Kilo's dead. The DPS taken out of the fight. Arns once more delivers and skewed. Plays off the back of it beautifully. Finds Kilo the rally. Going to be canceled out. The Primal Rage from Reiner taking down a Violet. They've cleared the cart. They've gotten the push. The Gladiators once more win out on a Shock map pick. And now they bring this to match point. A 3-0 as the coaching staff from Gladiators dropping trash in the chat.